Hello guys, in this video I'm going to show you how you can download and install WordPress locally on your Windows operating system alongside WAMP server. So let's get started and first of all we are going to download WAMP server on our Windows operating system. So let's get started. Just open your favorite browser and search for WAMP and the first link which you will see here will be from wampserver.com so just click this link and it's going to open this wampserver.com website now first of all what is wamp server wamp server is a windows web development environment and it allows you to uh, create web applications with apache 2 php and a mysql database okay and it's going to give you this uh, php my admin which will allow you to create your mysql database so now uh, how you can download vamp server so you just need to go to download here and in here you will see two versions of vamp server one is uh, vamp server 32 bit other is vamp server 64 bit now to check which uh, flavor of uh, Windows operating system you have you need to just uh, search for system here so just search for system and then open this system from here okay so just open this system here and now you will see here your uh, system type and my system type right now is 64 bit okay so that's why I'm going to uh, download the 64 bit version but if you have 32 bit you will download this version okay so i will just click this here and now it says uh, this warning okay so there are some warning which you are going to see first is don't use previous uh, wam server uh, add-on or extension which we don't have other is you need to have uh, microsoft uh, visual studio c++ extension uh, or redistributable so uh, right now i don't have this uh, thing so i am going to download this okay so just click this link microsoft.com slash download and it's going to uh, redirect you to this uh, page okay so in here you can see this uh, visual c++ redistributable for visual studio 2012 so you just need to choose your language and download it and then uh, i have a 64 bit operating system so i'm going to download this first option which is x64 and then i'm going to click next and then you can see it's downloaded right so after this uh, is downloaded you just need to uh, click this executable file and click I agree and then click install and click yes and it's going to uh, download and install Microsoft Visual C++ uh, redistributable okay so once this is done then once again you need to go to this website and then once again follow the procedure which I have shown you Do go to download and once uh, you see uh, once again this message you can just click download directly and now uh, you're going to download this WAMP server executable file okay so I will uh, give some time to uh, download it and now you can see the WAMP server executable file is downloaded so I'm going to click this executable file here and I'm going to minimize my browser and just click yes first of all and now the installation of WAMP server will start okay so just click next here and then I accept the agreement click next and this is the location where WAMP server will be installed so if you want to change it uh, you can change it but I'm going to leave it as default and click next and then uh, you can choose if you want to create the quick launch icon and desktop icon so I'm going to check both not no harm in it so click next and then click install
and in here you will see uh, it's going to give you this message please choose your uh, default browser and if you are not sure just click open okay so in here you can choose your default browser if you have uh, some uh, browser preferences for example if you have chrome or other browsers like uh, firefox or anything then you can choose your browser from here so for example i'm going to go to my program files x86 and in here i'm going to choose uh, google from here and go to chrome application and in here i'm going to choose uh, chrome here okay and click open and it's going to uh, give you this warning you just need to uh, allow access and then you can see uh, this uh, php mail parameter i'm going to leave everything as default for now and click next and i will click finish and please make sure that this checkbox is checked okay and then click finish and click yes and now you can see here the icon which is uh, vamp server icon and if you see this uh, green vamp server icon then everything is uh, running okay so you can uh, open it and you can see everything here localhost my project php my admin uh, your uh, www directory and server and mysql here okay now next step is to open the mysql database using php my admin which is already installed using vamp server so just click this green vamp server icon here and in here you will be able to see php my admin just click this and it's going to open uh, this php my admin interface on your uh, default browser which you have selected and once this php my admin is open we are going to create a new database so to create a new database you just need to uh, click here new and it's going to give you this kind of an interface you just need to give the name of the interface for example my db or wordpress db or anything i'm going to give the name for example my db okay you can give any uh, name as you want right and then in here you can uh, see in the drop down menu uh, many options but we want to just leave it as default as collection and then just click create and now you can see this my db is created uh, on the left hand side right and one more thing when you go to the users tab so just click this users tab in here the user name is root and the default password is none okay so there is no default password right now right so uh, just keep in mind we are going to need this uh, username and password when we are installing uh, wordpress okay so once this is done then we are ready to uh, download and install wordpress on our windows operating system so once again open your favorite browser and search for uh, download wordpress and press enter and the first link which will appear here will be from wordpress.org slash download and when you click this link you will be able to see this kind of interface on the right hand side you will be able to see the download button which you can click and it's going to uh, you know download this wordpress in the form of zip file so just save it at your desired location once uh, this is done you can just open this zip file and you can see this uh, wordpress right wordpress folder and inside the wordpress folder you will be able to see so many files so what we want to do uh, here is we want to copy this uh, wordpress folder from here so you can just copy this wordpress folder and once again go to this vamp server icon which is uh, this green uh, icon and in here just go to this uh, option which says www directory or www directory and click it it's going to open 
your uh, www directory here right inside your vamp folder in your c directory okay so we need to paste this uh, wordpress uh, directory which we have copied from uh, the zip file to this www uh, folder so right click and paste it and it's going to paste this uh, wordpress uh, copy here and once this wordpress folder is copied in your www folder inside your web server folder then we are ready to install wordpress locally using web server so let's see what's inside this folder and you can see so many files which we are going to use later but for now what we need to do is we need to go to our browser and then you can uh, just write localhost which is going to open uh, your uh, local host using WAMP server and then when you give here forward slash and then when you give uh, wordpress folder so just write wordpress and press enter and this is going to open uh, your setup config file for the wordpress so this is the first page which you will see uh, when you open this localhost forward slash wordpress by the way you can change the name of uh, this wordpress uh, directory according to your website name for example uh, your website name is easy online converter you can just change the name of this directory and then you can just write localhost and the name of the directory which you have given and this will also give you the same result okay just choose your language and then click continue and in here you can see welcome to wordpress before getting started we need some information on database you will need to know the following item before proceeding right so we need to know uh, database name database username password database host and then table uh, prefix so just click let's go here and in here you need to give the name of your database so our database name which we have given is my underscore db so give the same name here as a database name just write my underscore db or whatever name you have given and then username is root which i have already shown you which is this one and password is nothing so we will leave it as blank okay so just write root and the password just leave it as blank okay and then the database host is localhost so leave it as default and table prefix uh, leave it as default also and then click submit and then you will see all right uh, we just need to uh, click this button to run the install for wordpress so just click this button and in here on the next page you need to give the name of your uh, website for example uh, the name of the website you want to create and the username uh, which can be given by you and the password okay so the website name i want to give is easy online converter and the username anything you can give for example i will give username as programming knowledge 101 and now give the password here for example uh, give the password which you can remember and which is strong enough uh, so that nobody can guess it okay so let's uh, give any password here and after giving the password you just need to give uh, your email address and after giving the email address you just need to click this checkbox and then press install and then you will be able to see this success message and this means wordpress is successfully installed on your windows operating system so you can log in so just press this login button here and then in here once again give your username and password which you have chosen right so we have chosen in my case i have chosen this is the username and the password you have given whatever password you have given right so one, once again i will go here and the username is uh, programming knowledge 101 
and the password I will give whatever I have uh, given and then if you want you can check this option remember me and then click login and once you uh, see this kind of uh, dashboard interface then you know that your uh, WordPress is successfully installed and you can now uh, customize your WordPress website using this button or whatever you want to do. So in this way you can install WordPress locally on your Windows operating system using WAMP server. I hope you have enjoyed this video. Please wait, comment, subscribe and bye for now.